I'm going to show you two methods today of how I installed these Marley twists and it's not actually what you think. So carry on watching and see how quick and easy it was for me to achieve this look. Right, so before we begin guys, I'm just showing you the twist that I've already done, just showing my roots and this is one of the methods out of the two that I'm going to be showing you today. So here you go, just giving you a little length check. So now I'm going to start by putting my natural hair away and I'm just going to comb through my actual hair just to get rid of any tangles. This is the extension Marley hair that I'm going to be using, which I'm now going to comb out just for some texture in my twist. Method number one, the plait twist. So I start by using the two strands from the extension hair, including my hair as the third strand. And I start off as you would do with a box braid. Now I'm just showing you how far I've plait down to keep my twist secure with my braid. Okay, so now we've got the braid out of the way, time for the twist. Don't worry if I'm going too fast for you, I will be zooming in and slowing down. I think it's now time to click pause and rewind. Right, as promised guys, here is the slowed down, zoomed in version for you. What I'm doing is, I'm twisting my natural hair around the extension hair and doing that as a two strand twist. Now, I'm going to twist the extra strand of extension hair with that twist I've just made, if you can see. If it's still confusing guys, rewind as much as you like at that section until you get the hang of it. As I want my style to be a certain length, I'm just going to trim off the ends as you can see. And the reason I'm cutting in this manner is because I don't want the strands to be blunt as this will prevent the hair from staining once the hair is twisted. Now I've got a more natural look to my ends. Whilst we're on the topic of natural, the next method is the natural twist. So like I did with the last twist, I'm going to use the extension hair. I use about five to six strands just to make sure I get that jumbo look. This one's a little bit more tricky, so pay close attention whilst I explain. So with this method, you're going to separate that section into two parts, okay? And the reason you're going to do this is because you want the extension here, as you can see like I'm demonstrating, to go in between those parts. Before I show you the install, I just want to demonstrate to you how I naturally twist. And as you can see on this side of my head, I twist away, away from my face, okay? To get that two strand twist. So with that being said, you're going to twist in the extension hair towards your face all right so as you can see i'm doing those two strands and then you're going to twist it back round okay away to get your ultimate twist now i've done that demonstration let's begin i'm going to apply the extension hair in between i'm going to hold this bit in my mouth just because <laughs> You can use a clip for that part guys. I'm gonna twist the extension here into my hair in that one section as you can see. I've twisted the other side of camera and that's how your hair should look, okay? Now I'm gonna twist them back onto themselves so it doesn't unravel the twist of the extensions. I hope that makes sense. Once the extensions here is installed, I'm just gonna twist down as I usually do. If you are enjoying this video and you are finding it useful, please go ahead and subscribe and click that notification bell so you don't miss another upload. So now my twist is complete, I'm just measuring it with the other twist on the other side just to make sure I've got the same length. So I'm just going to cut off as much as needed and complete that twist. There you go, now I've got more natural looking end. So now I'm giving you a length check, nice little view, side part in view, there you go, side view, back view, and that's it. But wait, stay to the end guys, because there is more. So now you've seen how I've achieved this look guys, you might want to see how I got this style with braids. So you can click this video now, or if you want to see how I prep my hair for protective styling, you can also click this video now.